Karen was a mom, a wife, a sister, a friend, my soulmate. She was uh, amazing. My name is Tracy Glasgow and I've been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. I just went for a routine colonoscopy. And when I got done, the doctor said, he, that I want to talk to you. And my phone rang right when I was on my front doorstep. I remember it was a really warm day and, and it was the doctor. And she said, I need to talk to you. You have follicular lymphoma. She had run uh, a half marathon and uh, she thought she had a pulled muscle. I am a uh, mother. I am a daughter. I am a partner. I have stage four metastatic breast cancer. So I was pregnant when I was diagnosed. Um, I, was, I was 14 weeks pregnant. I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. Our son is Kieran Walsh. He's four years old. Oh. <laughs> Exuberant is the first one that comes to mind. Very loving, very affectionate. I'm gonna cry. Is it okay if I cry? Nikki found a lump in her breast Valentine's Day. It was triple negative breast cancer, which anyone not familiar with is a very aggressive cancer. I don't wanna leave my kids. That was the first place that my mind went to. And then I immediately thought, I can't afford to have cancer. You think you have health insurance, so you think that you're gonna be okay. But um, when you have to put $16,000 out to pay co-pays, when, when we started traveling the country because the answers I didn't want to hear the answers. Kieran had a, a right radical nephrectomy, which means he had his kidney removed. We had 19 weeks of chemo following that. I had so many other doctor's appointments and we were seeing four different doctors. Radiation every single day, um, chemo once a week. How about the logistics? Who was watching the kids and who's taking care of the house? Who's taking care of the family? And oh, by the way, are you still working? Where's the income coming from? Let's be real about this. I'm getting chemo one day and eight o'clock in the morning, the next day, I'm up with this pump about this size. I'm taking it to work with me, putting it through my shirt, putting it through my pants. You know, you're trying to work with Kieran and get him to his appointments, trying to keep a normal home life as normal as you can. I didn't think there was any help out there. And there was a letter in the mail from Team CMMD and I didn't know what it was at that point. And I opened it up and there was a check and a letter. They saw our front bed was kind of a mess. They had some a landscaper come out, rip all the weeds, clean everything out of the bed, and plant these beautiful flowers. I had childcare, I had all these you know, regular bills, I had people flying in and staying with me. My water bill for October <laughs> was like three times as much. And just getting that check meant the world to me. I mean, I was so overjoyed. I had faith to begin with but it just lifted my faith. Things is beyond words. For a minute, there's more hope. For a minute, we don't have to worry about how do we pay the next bill. For a minute. I said, you know, Nikki's always wanted to see a Broadway. They put it all together and we had a great time. It was only a few weeks before Nikki was called home. You're so overwhelmed at that point. And if they hadn't jumped in and did that for us, I might sit here today and say, I wish I would have did it. Meals when we needed meals. They provided miles when we needed miles. Um, they've come to events for Kieran and supported us that way. When, you, when there's a group of people out there like that, it just it fills that little void in your heart that was created by the cancer diagnosis. Thank you for everything. You, you have no idea how much this means. If you can give back to anybody, and in any little way sometimes can mean a whole lot. It's easy to lose hope, but you can't lose hope. Hope is, is more important than any other emotion when you're going through this. If you can have hope, hope is what makes you get to tomorrow.